Hey, thanks for tuning in once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another YouTube video, and I know I haven't recorded a YouTube video exclusively in quite a while. So I want to uh, bring this one to you because I've been getting a ton of emails lately. And I get a lot of emails based around, Jack, how do we replace the background? And can you show us an easy way to do that? Well, I'm going to show you two different ways to replace your background that makes it really easy to do and it makes it really look uh, authentic so that's what we're going to be working on here uh, today as I'm sure the title has already given that away as it always does the first thing we're going to show you a way to replace the backgrounds we have this picture of the uh, airplane here from the local air show that I went to and grabbed a couple pictures and we have a beautiful blue background now the first thing we're going to do is how do you take this picture and put the plane in the background and make that blend together. Well let's go ahead and do just that. The first way I'm going to show you that we can do this is very simple is to cut the airplane out of the current picture and then put it into the new picture. So let's go ahead and do that first. You're going to have to create a new layer so create a new layer and in order to get this layer if you see this little padlock on it in order to get that to go above the new layer you see it won't go double click on it and we're just going to create it into a layer and get rid of the background padlock now that we did that it makes it very very simple for us to grab that and just drag it above the new layer because we want to have this transparent layer showing and we need the transparent layer so we can get rid of some of this background of the uh, the old clouds here the old grayness that was in this actual picture so what we're going to do now is we got to select this now if it's contrasted like this if everything in the background is very neutral colors you can see what I mean here because it's all basically a color and it we can see that there's a light yellow smoke coming out and we can see the yellow plane here so what you want to do at that point is we are going to select all this and we can do that very easy by using the magic wand tool because I can click on here and you can see the magic wand tool selects everything now what we need it to do the reason it's selecting everything is because you see we're on the wrong layer we're on the transparent one layer so be very careful when you're selecting your layers. Let me do select, deselect. Select the plane. And now we're going to click on this again. And you'll see that the airplane now is actually not selected. What is selected is all of the same color basically is selected. But the airplane and those that smoke cloud is not selected. Now you can see the little tip up here where the color is just a little bit different and that happens with lighting. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the brush tool and we're just going to select that also. Once you have that done, all you have to do at that point is hit your delete key on your keyboard. And you'll see now that everything in the background is transparent. And all we have to do at this point is we're going to go ahead and deselect. We're going to reselect it all again. And we're now going to hit edit. You can use your command or control C. Or you can just click on here. Click on copy. And click on edit again. And click command or control V. Or just click paste. Now here's an issue right here folks. This is an issue that so many people when they're blending pictures together they run into this because I get emails all the time saying Jack look I pasted my picture and I don't see it where did it go well it is there the problem is sometimes the pictures we take are uh, so so much better resolution and it, you can't see it because it's a much bigger picture see this is what I'm going to talk to you about here so we're going to grab this little resize tool See where it says move tool and it puts the little arrows on it. So it's move and resize. And then you would take this when you get these double arrows up in the top corner. 
and you would pull down towards the far corner of the picture and you just keep repeating this over and over and over and you got to repeat this folks this is what happens so many times and like i said i get this email all the time jack i overlaid my picture and i lost it i don't know where the picture is well they don't realize that the picture is much greater than what they're working with so this is what's coming out here let's get rid of that there and you can see here the picture so we are going to um, just overlay that and that's what happens that picture is so big that you have to keep working that picture in to that new background because it's so large so instead of doing that what we are going to do is we are going to make it a lot simpler on you we're going to delete the layer that we just introduced here on our new background and we're going to go back to that original picture hit deselect all and then we'll delete this layer the the new background layer that we created so we only have one layer that we're working with now when we only have this one single layer what we're going to do is go back to your new background that you want to use now you can either write this down or remember it I generally like to just remember it it doesn't take that long when you're putting these numbers in hit image size and you're gonna see the width and the height let's do that again under image hit resize and go to image size we're looking at 1920 by 1201 now what we're gonna do is we're gonna resize this image hit image resize 1920 by 1201 and click OK now you can see it resizes that if you hold down your alt or your option key you can actually bring that back out and expand it back so you can see it now let's go ahead and do that same scenario let's go ahead and select all everything is selected we're going to do edit and everything is selected we're going to copy it go to edit and copy go back to our new background do edit and paste now you can see it's the same size look at the corner up here where we have this move to wet every corner is matching up that is what happens folks that's why when you say look I, I couldn't see it when I overlaid it because it's just too big and you had to resize it if you get this little gray area down here it's very easy to get rid of that all we have to do is we can use the background eraser tool and actually erase that out you can see we can merge that right in there to our new background that's how easy that is to do now I told you I was going to show you two ways to replace the background that's the first way and if it seems a little complicated just remember those steps and I would say first make sure both of your pictures are the same size and then start from there and then select get rid of your background with a new layer on it creating a transparent background and then bring those both those pictures back in to your new clouds cover here the new pictures but I told you I was going to show you another way so let's take this we're going to revert this and this is my preferred way of doing it. I'm going to delete this layer out my preferred way of doing this and go back here go to image revert and let me resize this back down so we can see what we're working with here now my preferred way of doing this is I like to overlay and I've done a lot of videos on on different ones called overlay different ones called blending pictures it's just a lot easier to do this now the way we the way I like to do it is very simply you have the clouds you have your new picture whatever it is clouds yard background whatever let's go back to the clouds let's go to image resize first thing I do is look at my size 1920 by 1201 I go back to my new picture image resize and I'll make this 1920 by 1201 I hit OK okay this is my new picture I'm just bring this back up a little bit and what I'm going to do now is I want to overlay this the whole thing 
onto my new background. So I do select all image copy and all I'm going to do here is just go to edit paste and now you can see how I have the whole thing over top of my new background. Here's my background here's the whole thing we didn't select anything we didn't delete no background we didn't use an eraser we are going to use one of my favorite tools in Photoshop Elements 12 it showed up for us in Photoshop Elements 9 so if you have 9 10 11 or now 12 you have this tool and it is called a layer mask I love this tool it's up in the tool palette right next to um, uh, adjustment layers we have layer mask click on layer mask click on it so you add it and then click on layer mask because you may be over in the picture make sure you're on the layer mask what we want to do now is we are going to use that same magic wand tool let's do that let's make a selection with the magic wand tool and we select the picture you can see now where we have that same type of selection but instead of deleting it now we're going to take our brush I'm going to make sure that we have all this top part here selected and what we're going to do now folks you're gonna love this it's very very simple change your background color palette make sure it's black over white because on a mask if you paint with black you're going to reveal what's under it if you paint with white you're gonna hide what's under it and what we want to do is now is we're going to use our, our black and we are simply going to go to edit fill selection because we have that area selected and folks watch this this is wonderful now use the foreground color which is the black because it's on top and simply click OK and there you go what we just did basically was we filled that mask with black but we only filled in what was selected with black the plane wasn't selected so it was allowed to be revealed now when I originally did this for this show uh, or for this uh, tutorial I looked at this and I said well that smoke kinda looks weird now so I'm gonna do a select and deselect because it kinda looks like it's it's out of sorts it's, it's too overbearing so what I want to do there is we are going to take that and we can actually change that a little bit just by going over it a couple of times I'm going to show you that so let's use our brush tool now what we're going to do is we are going to first attempt to paint with black but we're gonna paint this now now what happens is if our opacity is at a hundred percent it's going to get rid of it all right so edit undo brush tool so we can't use a hundred percent opacity opacity is just that it's 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 the darkness the the opaqueness so it's so it's covering up something so instead of doing that what we want to do is we are going to take that opacity and we're going to lower it down to about 75 now if you go over you can see where it's just revealing a little bit under there and it's kind of blending it in more use your left and right bracket keys to get down around the plane because you want to uh, not cover the tail up and we'll go right in here uh, next to the plane itself just like so now if you messed up if you're here and you go oh no I went over the wing I, I kinda messed that up now I gotta redo my edit don't look at this a minute and say look I'm just gonna change this remember white reveals or black reveals white hides flip the background colors and just paint with white and you can clean that back up right there and you're good to go now that smoke is is actually uh, looking better and looking like it should look it's more blended in with everything else so folks I hope you've enjoyed this edit as I said I get so many emails every month with how to replace backgrounds how to merge backgrounds uh, how to overlay pictures this kind of tells the whole story and I gave you two different ways to do this Please comment on these videos and also uh, I believe you can give them ratings. Share the videos now. A lot of people, a lot of you out there have been sharing my interviews and reposting them on Google Plus and I really do appreciate that. And uh, definitely tell other people about us. And if you found us and you're not yet on our Facebook group, please join our Facebook group at Jack's Tech Corner. Thank you so much and I'll see you back here in the next video. Take care 
and keep editing.